One of the biggest stories in South Korea this year was the achievements the country made in its space program. It tested a rocket engine developed entirely on its own. Also, two South Korean satellites were put into orbit. One of them will watch the stars, and the other will monitor the weather here on Earth. Che Shi Young reports. Engine 점화. 발사. Last month, a locally developed rocket engine was test launched for the country's second carrier rocket known as Korea Space Launch Vehicle 2, or NURI, the nation's first space vehicle wholly designed and built with domestic technology, scheduled for launch in 2021. On Wednesday at 4 p.m. Korea time, the rocket engine was successfully launched from the narrow space center in Gohang, Jolanamdo province. The test run was a roaring success. The engine fully combusted for 151 seconds, 11 seconds longer than what the team considers a successful run. South Korea is the seventh country worldwide to locally develop a 75-ton rocket engine. Another achievement for the country. Just weeks ago on December 4, South Korea's next satellite one successfully went into orbit after being launched into space on the Falcon 9 rocket made by U.S. aerospace company SpaceX. It'll measure space radiation, analyze stars infrared light for the next two years, and send that data back to Earth, further deepening our understanding of space. A day later, another successful launch, this time a geostationary weather satellite using only Korean technology. The Cheolyeon 2A satellite entered its geostationary orbit after being delivered into space by the European Space Agency's Ariane 5 rocket. It'll provide images with four times higher resolution and deliver data 18 times faster than its first version launched in 2010. The observation frequency has also increased sixfold, so the country can more accurately predict sudden weather changes, including tracing the ice of a typhoon. With only three years left before the launch of the nation's first space vehicle in 2021, South Korea is on track towards fully realizing its space ambitions. Choi Xiong, Arirang News.